Right, and welcome to my next tutorial, which um, I'm going to be showing you basically the, uh, a lot of the entities that I showed you in the previous tutorial. Okay, now this is the map. I've made a little map which will show you all this stuff. Okay, and basically we're just going to go through some of the um, funks, the targets, the triggers, and uh, a few uh, and what is it? The uh, common shaders so now I know this might be a little laggy uh, for the video but uh, well let's just get straight into it but I can't really help it okay so what we have here is we're in the trigger room first okay so here I have a trigger hurt okay now this one is will not do anything to you okay when you first go on but I've got a button here where if you hit the button now if I run into here. Oh. It'll kill me. Now if I go back, go around, hit the button again, it's off. I can go back in. Okay, next one here. This is the default trigger hurt. Okay, with the default damage value. Uh. Oh. That's what it does. Okay, next we have a trigger multiple. Uh, I can't remember what I did for this one. Oh, uh, that's right, this is a door closes the door. Okay. And look at that. Close. And open. There we go. Right. And this trigger multiple is coming what it's one of those. Ah, ah. Oh yes, this trigger multiple. Uh, as you saw, I managed to get to the uh, platform first, but now it's blocked off with a kill, so I'll just get no clip. And here, if I go again, now I can run through again. If I trigger it again, oh, I'm dead. Okay, here we have a trigger push. Okay, this will just push. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, okay, so you can see, just push you out to the destination. I'm using a target location, okay, which is somewhere about here. Okay. Uh, then we have trigger location. If I go location, uh, well, that's actually showing the target location, which is further, which is at the next uh, position. But if I go inside, now I do it. Here in the trigger location. Okay. Now I'm in there. Okay. Then I'll go back to that. Okay. Uh, trigger teleport. Teleports you. Teleport. And uh, another teleport, which will just teleport me to the targets. Okay, here we have a target give. Now, inside this little square here, I have um, a trigger multiple brush, which is targeting a target give. So, and I'm in here, I can set the wait time on the trigger brush, and that'll let me do that and then I also have a button which I can press which does the same thing yeah I can press the button it'll give me whatever value of ammo we have a target position I'm using this to create a spotlight as you can see so we have a spotlight there okay uh, well we'll go down the line target push it's the same I as you can see there's a uh, uh, a problem with the sound. There is no sound file. You can change the sound. You know, there's some spawn flag inside the target push one, which will create um, that same push sounds that you get on one of the icy jump maps. I think it might be icy sequel. Uh, it's the one where you start off and you go into those green arrows and it pushes you along. Um, that, that sound that it gives you can set it to that okay, so that's what that does then we have a target speaker you might be able to hear that okay. that sound that you can hear well, if I just plug in the other end of my headphones I'd be able to hear it too
Hey, maybe not. Uh, yep, I can hear it now. Okay. Okay. And then I also have um, a target speaker which is within a trigger, which uh, allows me to, um, when someone goes inside the trigger, they will uh, hear the sound. As you see, I have it as the laugh. Okay, and let's go back here. We have target location, which is you've already seen. Uh, target print when you enter the trigger area, uh, it'll target the target print, which will give you some big text. You found the target print. Okay, and you have a target score. You watch the score I have. Every time you enter inside the area, it'll give me points. Well, as long as you set the weight value on the trigger multiple brush yeah. so it's really uh, useful you can also use it for doors okay say like the naval uh, maps okay how they are done is it has a door inside the score hole and what it does is it um, you can set a damage value to the door so if it takes any damage such as if you shoot it or an explosion on it it'll open the door and that door opening you can target it to a target score and it'll give you a score every time it hits the door so that's how those are done uh, and then we have a target teleporter Okay. now the difference between the trigger brushes and the target brushes is with trigger brushes they are instant you, you as soon as you move into the trigger brush it'll instantly do whatever it is. With the target brushes, um, target entities, you can uh, set delays on them or have something else happen. So that's the kind of difference. It's kind of server side, client side sort of thing. Um, a target teleporter, I've got a trigger multiple brush and it instantly send me there, but I could have set a wait. Now we have the funk entities. Here is the funk bobbing. Okay. Simply what that does. Funk breakable. Okay, here we have glass, wood, and stone. You can set different damage values. So I do that. Okay, if I takes a couple of times to shoot that, and then I cannot shoot that. I have this set as only break from a HK69. So that's how that is. Funk button. Well, you've already seen me use it a couple of times on this. Funk door. That's all it is. A side to side door. When you first press it, it'll go straight away. When you press it second time, it takes a second or two for it to react. Very weird how that happens. Okay, we have a funk pendulum. That's simply what a pendulum does. Okay, up the top here, right in there. Okay, I have an origin brush. Okay, which is where the center, which is where it, um, kind of the axis of it is. So where it will rotate around a funk plat, as you can see here. I accidentally left it like that. I will try and remember to change it. But as soon as you go on it, it will go to its second position, and it will not move. Okay, go off it, and it'll go back. Okay, a funk rotating. Okay, again, right in the middle there, I have an origin brush. Okay, and that's where it's rotating around. And a funk rotating door, I have a rotating an origin brush right here, and it'll rotate around that. As you can see, the thing with rotating doors is you can continuously press them. Okay, next we have common, which we're going to go to. And this is the final one. We have the camera. Okay, now think about camera um, or mirrors. Uh, they can, just, you can only have one within your site. Okay, so if you're going to try and have mul multiple ones in a room, you're going to make sure there's a good thick wall between them all. Okay, so 
as you cannot see them otherwise you get what's called a homing effect uh, which is what you can see down here where it's you can't really see that great but uh, it's because of the lighting but you see there it's it will not show it okay so if a mirror can so you can't do the kind of infinity mirror thing or anything like that you can only have one mirror or camera in sight okay uh, next you have cushion okay which is to cushion your landing okay so if you drop from high heights you will not die okay whereas if I were to do that without the cushion brush there I most likely would have lemminged then you have a ladder clip okay you go up to the wall, you set a thin brush on the end, on the side that you like to be able to climb. And it's that simple, okay? These are all in the common folder, except for the camera, okay? Um, I'm not exactly sure how this one works, okay? Because I think you might actually just be able to do it to any brush, any face of a brush, and it would work. Okay, just to the nearest face of the brush. Slick, this is basically a slippery surface that you cannot just stand still on. Okay, it's good because you can create, this is what the icy jumps use. Okay, it's good because you can create fast surfaces. Uh, you have player clip. Okay, this is an invisible brush that stops the player. Okay, you cannot go through it. As you can see though, you can still shoot through it. Okay, a no drop. This is basically um, a reasonably thick brush. You wanted at least uh, 32, I think it is, units, or maybe 24. I'm not sure, but definitely not eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. And oh no, I guess a 24, yeah, would be ideal. Okay, you can go through it, so it's not going to block the player. So it doesn't matter if you have it a little high. Okay, and what it does is you drop, and it it disappears okay this is good for like jump service so you can create a little drop spot for people to drop their Kevlar's and such um, then we have the mirror okay here's a mirror nice mirror okay just let you show yourself off you can do uh, I don't know why is there a Where's my fun stuff? Oh well, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, oh well. And then you have weapon clip, which does the same to the player. Okay. However, now you cannot shoot through it. Okay. If I set a grenade on this side, go around to the other, I cannot die. And that's all of them. Okay. And then we just end up back at the triggers. Okay. So I will put this. Uh, map uh, including the map file and this bsp file uh, in the download link uh, along with the textures i used here just so you obviously don't end up with any missing textures and well that'll be about it and next the next tutorial i think i will actually show you no actually no um I don't know, next tutorial I might show you some other stuff, but uh, we'll see what I can think of to do. If you have anything specific you want, though, that I could uh, help you with, just uh, put a, you know, leave a comment asking, and I will do it, because I always check the comments. So, yeah, see ya.